Well, where are you, Perry? He disappeared. Well, he's not here this time. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll just say thank well, you. Well, here we are, about to say goodbye to next year. And let me recall the three challenges of last year. The first challenge was to keep Web Summit in Lisbon. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it thanks to Perry. Thanks to Faye. Where is Faye? She must be somewhere. Thanks to the mayor of Lisbon. Thanks to, to the Portuguese government. And thanks to all of you. All of you. Thank you very much for being here. Second challenge, the second challenge was the one of keep moving on the digital revolution. You did it. You did it with your startups, with your alphas. You did it. Thank you very much. And the third challenge, you recall Al Gore was here, was to make more people aware that climate change was not fiction, was not fake news. It was real. It was real. It is real. And we did it. We did it. And now this year, we have also three challenges ahead. First one is, as we're going to have a Web Summit here, 10 years, 10 years, we must make every year better and different from the previous one. Better and different. And more than that, we must create here a platform, not just one event for four days, but a permanent digital platform in Lisbon, in Portugal, in Europe, all around the world. The second, the second challenge is this one. I just came from a meeting with refugees and migrants. You must not forget, you must not forget the rest of society. I mean, the digital is very important if you serve common people, if you serve communities. You must not leave anybody behind. Digital education, it's a crucial point. You must think of the others, not just the younger generations, the rest of the society. We must not create cleavages based on age or whatever. And the third and main and tougher challenge this year is that uh, digital is about freedom. It's about opening economies, opening societies, about dialogue and tolerance. And we're seeing around the world just the opposite. We're seeing xenophobia. We're seeing intolerance. We're seeing racism. We're seeing closing societies and economies. We're seeing trade wars. We're seeing closing borders. It's up to all of us, all of you, to use the digital revolution for dialogue, for peace, for opening societies and economies. And that's the change. It is hard. It is tough because this wave that is crossing the globe is a wave that will take four years, six years, eight years, I don't know, for how long. But it's the opposite of the digital revolution. The opposite of the meaning of the digital revolution. That's why we must fight for the values and the principles, for freedom, for multilateralism, not unilateralism, for peace, for something that is worthwhile living. And that's the message. That's the message. You must take that message all across the world, not leaving just your message for yourselves. Of course, you are, in a sense, pioneers. You are, in a sense, heroes. You are, in a sense, leaders in the present and the future. Don't forget the rest of the society. 
and please help to create a better world. On behalf of all Portuguese, on behalf of Portugal, thank you very much. See you next year.